Jesus, speak night and rest on, whisper in loving kindness, thou art not left alone. Hope my heart to hear thee, quickly to hear the voice. Feed thou my soul with praises, let me in thee rejoice. Speak thy soul, taste with pass, with pass of love to thee. Thou shalt be always gone, thou shalt be always free. Speak thou to me each day. Lord, always in tenderest stone. Let me now hear thy whisper. Thou art not left alone. Speak to thy children ever. Lead in the holy way, fill them with joy and gladness, teach them to watch and pray. May they in consecration yield their whole lives to thee, hasten thy coming kingdom, till our dear Lord we see. Speak thy insult as we pass, with pass of love to me. Thou shalt be always conquer, thou shalt be always free. Speak thou to me each day, Lord, always in tedress stone. Let me now hear thy whisper. Thou art not left alone. Speak now as in the hot time, Thou dost reveal Thy will. Let me know all my duty. Let me thy love fulfill. Lead me to glorify thee. Lead me to show thy praise. Gladly to do that by thee. Honor thee all. All my days, speak thou in soft and sweet pass, with pass of love to me. Thou shalt be always conquer, thou shalt be always free. Speak thou to me each day, Lord, always in tedress stone. Let me now hear thy whisper, thou art not left alone. By me sorrow, O Lua. 
soro lo jeje ki ngbo ife re emi wa pelu re lumini o kon aya ki yara gbo Komi kila yoni nure, wifumi lunge je, o wife di du, we moju ashegu lo. Mubo pata pata, juju moki le ma bo, o uwe mi di du, soro no fu mi lo ni, e mi wa pe lu re. Waba wamo resoro, to wosa no mi mo, fi ayoku okonwo, fi adura konwo, ki wafara waru. Faye waji ki joba re yara de kujua le rio we for me lo je je oh. Oju a shegu lo, mo bo pata pata. Juju mo ki le ma bo, o u e mi di du. Soro no fu mi lo. Soro biti ibani fi fere hawa ki mo bo bo ishemi ki mu ashere she to mi ki bo go re. Oji shere kimbe oga titi we for me lunge je o uife di du we moju ashegu. Mubo pata pata, juju mo ki le ma bo, o u e mi di du, soro no fu mi lo ni e mi wa pe lu.
Praise the Lord. We are welcome to the maiden edition of our Bible study in this church in Jesus' name. Amen. And my prayer is that as you are partaking in the beginning, and as we go on in studying the word, the study will not be in vain in our lives. And on the last day, none of these studies we are going to go through will not witness against us in Jesus' name. So once again, I say you are welcome. Retentive memory, teachable art that Lord will give unto us. Let us pray. Let's rise up to pray. Father, in Jesus' name, King of glory, we lift your name high. We give you all the glory and adoration for the opportunity you have given us to attend this Bible study. We say, Lord, receive our thanks in Jesus' name. As we are about to study your word, we say, Holy Spirit, come and teach us in Jesus' name. And Lord, open our hearts to receive your word in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your word, O Lord, Father, edify us in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, because you have done it. Even our Father, you are going to use. Father, Lord, Holy Spirit, you will minister through him in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, because you have done it. In Jesus' name, we pray. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's be seated. As we have come this evening to study the word of God, I want us to liken the word of God we are going to study to be like a backbone of every believer. And if you look at a child, maybe five years old, ten years old, and is, is not having backbone, that spinal cord, can that child walk? Can that child sit down? That child will just be like a jellyfish. I mean, when you have it, it cannot sit down, it cannot walk. I mean, you won't be happy. That is how what Bible study is to every believer. When you know the word of God, that word will be your backbone. You will be able to sit down. You will be able to walk tall. And in the time of temptation, trials, confusion, when a false prophet wants to lure you to his, his side or side, yeah, you will be able to take your stand. Not only that, Bible study can also be likened to foundation of a building. A house, a building that has no foundation, can it stand? Even if it stands, it will only stand for a while. In the time of flood, in the time of storm, what will happen to that house? Will so a believer or a Christian that is not having the word of God grounded and rooted in him or her, when storm will blow, when flood will flow, that believer will fall. So that is why I want to encourage us this evening that as we are coming, as we will be coming every Thursday like this, come with your Bible, come with your paper, a, 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 a notebook, let me call it that, a notebook that you can easily pick up and refer to whatever you might have studied in the past. 
Nitori na ni mo se nro wa ti mo ngba wa ni yanju pe bi a se nwa yi ti a si ma tesi waju lati ma wa ki a ri pe an wa pelu iwe ti a ma fi ko nko sile ti a o le ma gbe yewu ni igba miran and not only that when you study like this like the berian christians when they study like this when they get to they will start going through this thing they taught us where is it in the bible they will open they will study on their own not only that i will encourage us to get a good bible concordance bible a christian a believer that is carrying secondary school bible you won't know you won't know anything about all these teachings okay sene to je pe bibeli si awon mo le we grammar ngbe ni to ba jero re ni re ni be ngbe ko le oye oro olorun ta nso ko le ye ni do moro oh you christian that can gideon international bible tabi christian to je pe abo bibeli ti samu ni kan ati ma je mu ti sun lo ngbe so we have bible that is torn elumiran bibeli to ti ya so let's please get a good Bible <inaudible> with concordance so that you will be able to do uh, uh, revision and study on your own. Why? Because we cannot exhaust all the studies just within one hour that we have. Not only that, when a student goes to school, and then he comes back home, he just closed the book. Tomorrow morning, he picked up the, the book again. He went to school. He came back. No revision at home. No study at home. That, that, that student will not, it will not have good grade or passes in the exam. And especially this time around, we are now at the close of the day. End time events have been seen all around us. So you need to study the word of God. You need to meditate on the word of God. Remember what Joshua was told. Don't let this book of Lord depart from your mouth. Meditate on it day and night. Then you will have what? You will prosper and have good success. But if you don't know what to meditate upon, what will you meditate upon? And how will you prosper? How will you have good success? But I pray tonight if our attitude to the word of God to the reading of the word of God studying the word of God is being at a low help as from tonight we will come up because of the time in which we are now. Because we know that um, the, we, we are now operating, it's like somebody who is just operating on the basis that any moment from now, I can go. And anybody that knows that, and that know that when you go, you are going for something greater, something better. You will want to, to prepare yourself. You will want to be at alert every time. So that whenever it happens, you will be sure that, yes, I thank God, I make it. So tonight, 
We are looking at our first study. Uh, one of the events of the last days. One of, that is, one, we have so many events. Uh -huh, that will come up at the end of the uh, end of the world like as we are now. But we want to study one of them today. And end of the time event, they have been referred to as eschatology. So, and that which we are studying tonight is the second coming of Christ. The second coming of Christ. Meanwhile, we have other events at the end of the at the close of the day. Just just like I've told you, we have so many events that we will witness when the world is coming to an end. We have others. We have the rapture. We have the resurrection of the dead. The great tribulation is coming. We have Christ's millennial reign. We have the great white throne judgment. We have the new heaven and the new earth. Then we have hell. So these are the events that we will witness I, 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 towards the end of the world. So just like so the second coming of Christ is one of them. And let's look at the uh, book of Jude. Jude. And please Bible study, we will open Bible. So if you have not been opening your Bible before, it's now the time to start opening them. In, in Jude, Jude has one chapter. 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 Jude and Enoch also the servant from Adam prophesied of thee, saying, Behold, the Lord cometh with ten thousands of his saints to execute judgment upon all and to convince all that are ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds which they have, which they have ungodly committed and of, of all their hard speeches which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. Awon won yi pelu ni Enoch enikeji lati odo Adam so tele fun wi pe ki esi Oluwa n bo pelu egbegberun egbegbarun awon eniyan re mimo lati se idajo gbogbo eniyan lati da gbogbo awon alaiwa bi Olorun lebi ni ti gbogbo ise iwa aiwa bi Olorun won ti won ti fi aiwa bi Olorun se ati ni ti gbogbo oro lile ti awon elese alaiwa bi Olorun ti so si the second coming of Christ, it means he has, he, he has come first time. And what did they come to do that time? He came to die so that sinners can reign with him. So let's quickly look at uh, what does it mean, the second coming of Christ? It, it, it refers to Christ coming to the earth to live as he did in the first coming. To, to, be, to be seen by every eyes. When he came first time, he ate with the disciples he drank with them. They touched him. They felt him. He was in their midst. And when he finished the assignment of his father, he left. So, just the same way, the same manner. 
The second coming will be like that. Physically, everybody will see him. And uh, 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 when he comes, he is coming to reign and to apportion judgment. Just like I said, when he came first time, he yeah. came to save sinners. So that sinners can reign with him. Now, when he will come second time, he will come uh, to give judgment and to reign in the world. Even that place in the book of Jude where we read. They say, Behold, the Lord cometh with ten thousands of his sins to execute judgment upon all. And to convince all that are ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds. That's judgment which they have ungodly committed. Look at Matthew 25. Book of Matthew chapter 25. Read verse 31. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory, and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. And before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another, as a shepherd divided his sheep from the goat. And he shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the goat on the left. That's judgment. And that verse 34, you see, then shall the king say unto them, on his right hand, when you say a king, what does a king do? In his community. A king reigns in, in his community. A king rules in his community. So is it, then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come ye blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. And in, in that same book of Jude, where we read earlier, we have read verses 14 and 15, let's see 16. Let's read from verse 15 for clarity's sake. It said to execute judgment upon all and to convince all that are ungodly among them of all the ungodly deeds which they have ungodly committed and of all their art speeches which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. These are murmurers, complainers, working after their own laws, and their mouth speaketh great swelling words, having men's persons in admiration because of advantage. Kia kalasi ya seke dogun, lati she da jok bo gwe niyo, lati da go gwa wong, ala yi wabi olonun, le bi ni si, bo gwe isha yi wabi olonun wong, si wong si, fi a yi wabi olonun she, a si ni si bo gwo, oro li le, can you imagine that? 
even people that are they are not they are manipulators those people that are sing people in the community so um, that they can gain they can get something from them are you like that in fact when you are telling people jesus is coming back today they look at you and say what, what are you talking about they have been saying this thing from the time of great 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 grandfather they don't believe that Christ is coming. And if you look at what is happening around us, things that, that, that are not usual, you should know, he has told us, many, many of these things we will witness when the end of the world is coming to a close. Even look at Nigeria now. Nigeria. From the prophecies, it say when the time when the time is near for Christ to come, when the end of the world is about to come, what will happen? There will be wars, rumors of wars. What we are experiencing in Nigeria, I think since 2009 now, we have never experienced it before apart from the uh, civil war. Of 66. So despite all these prophecies, both in the Old and New Testament, some people, they don't believe that Christ is coming back. And not only in a country, but even all over the world. I was surprised when I was watching Telly one day and I saw flood ravaging America. So I, I started to think, does it mean they don't have the technology to control the flood? Because they don't have the technology to control the flood. Because the second coming of Christ is at hand. Even Jesus Christ, he said it by himself. That he will, he, will, he, will, he will come back. Apart from what the prophet said, apart from what uh, uh, is been written concerning him, he himself said it in John 14. John 14. Read from verse 1. Let, yes, let, your, let not your heart be troubled. Be, 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 ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself that where I am, there ye may be also. Emma she de kio kwa yin daru, ek ba olor nubo, ek ba mi gbo kwa ilu, ni nu ili ba ba mi, ok ba kwa ilu, ni owa, i ba ma she be, e mi ba ti so fun yin, ni tori e mi lo, ikpe si a ye si le fun yin, bi mo ba si lo, ikpe si a ye si le fun yin, e mi o tu kwa da wa, e mi o si mo yin lo, so do e e mi ti kara mi, pe, ni e be ti e mi gbe wa, ki e yin le wa ni be kwa ilu, so if you want to be with Christ, you want to live with him where he is, you need to do his will. He has told you when you do his will here on earth, definitely he will take you to himself. Now, can we consider the proofs of his coming? Because, just like I said, people, some are saying he will not come again. But let's look at Matthew 
Proofs of his coming. We just look at it. Look at that. That's Matthew 24. Verse 4. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. That is, those of us that have believed that Christ will not come again. Jesus yeah. is telling you, said, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. Haven't we experienced that? How many people have come that say, Oh, I am Christ? Look at verse 11. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. Verse 24. For there shall arise false Christ and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders, insomuch that if it were possible, they shall deceive. The very elect. I pray you will not be deceived in Jesus' name. Amen. It's only a way. Ke Christi ati ke woli yo dide. Wan o si fi a mi ati o wen yanun la han. To be bi o le she she. Wan o ton a wan yon fe kwa kwa je. Then verse 23. Ese ke ta le ni ogun. Verse 23. Ese ke ta le ni ogun. Then if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Christ, or there, believe it not. Neighbor, not neighbor, neighbor, not be any comba we fuye pe wo Christian Benny tabi long Emma Shake Babo. Verse twenty five. Behold, I have told you before. As a carolin you go wo a mo we fuye tele. Wherefore, if they shall say unto you, Behold, he is in the desert, go not forth. Behold, he is in the secret chambers, believe it not. Nitori no. Be one by we for you pay. Whoa, oh, one year gave you. Emma lost the bed. Whoa, oh, one year. Emma shake back, bro. This should not be strange to us. I won't come on you, but the judge, you see, what some of us we are falling victim of all these false prophets. So, you're going to go out last. Of course, you're one. Well, you're okay. Not only that, there shall be wars and rumors of wars, just like I explained earlier on. There shall be famines, there shall be earthquakes, there shall be pestilences. Matthew 24, verse 6. Matthew 24, verse 6. Verse 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of what? See that ye be not troubled for all these things must come to pass but the end is not yet for nations arise against nation and kingdom against kingdom and there shall be famine pestilences earthquakes in diverse places and, and Ogun e ki e si ki e yin ki o ma she jaya ni tori gbogbo nkan won yi ko le sha e ki o ma she ni tori opin ki se isisin yi ni tori pe orilede yo dide si orilede ati ile oba si ile oba iyan ati ajakale arun ati isele yo si wa ni ibi pupo there be offenses betrayers lawlessness matadom see our brethren that they are being killed any how in the in the in the northeast and they came out they didn't deny christ deny christ take this our book but i said no he's too far he, 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 he's too late for me to do that if you don't take then we kill you fine kill me i go to heaven if you look at Hebrews 9.28, we may not be able to read. There are uh, um, apostles that prophesy of his coming. 
Holy Spirit confirm is coming. That's in that Hebrews 9:28. In Acts chapter 1, verse 11. You see it there. Uh, one thing we must be rest assured of is that if all the prophecies concerning his birth, his life, his death, burial, and resurrection came to pass. What will happen to the prophecies concerning the second coming? They will also come to pass. Because the prophecies So, from all this, we can see the proofs that Jesus Christ will come. What is he coming to do? That is the purpose of his coming. He's coming to comfort the church. Just as we read in John chapter 14, verses 1 to 3. He your heart troubled? Say no, don't let your heart be troubled. Because of what is going on around you, because of what you are passing through, no, don't let your heart be troubled. In all what is been telling you, just believe. In all what is been telling you, just believe. If you can take your stand throughout, he said he will come back and take you and inherit your mansion in heaven. So there is a word of comfort. And that is why uh, 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 we should not be troubled. In verse, in verse 20. At that day, ye shall know that I am in my Father, and ye in me, and I in you. He that hath my commandments, and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me, and he that loveth me shall be loved of my Father, and I will love him, and will manifest myself in him. So if, if you are a beloved sister, beloved brother of our Lord Jesus Christ, you have no problem. Now, apart from the comfort that we are going to enjoy as a result of his coming, he's coming also to judge the earth. Not only that, it's coming to restore Israel to our sovereignty. The book of Isaiah 32. Verse 18. You read it there, Isaiah 33. Verses 20 to 24. That is, there you will read about the restoration to sovereignty, to our sovereignty. That's the Israelites being restored. Then to judge the earth. That's Revelation 20. Let's, let's quickly look at that. Revelation chapter 20. Revelation 20, we read verse 11. Revelation 20, we read verse 11. Verse 12. Yes, I get So it's coming to judge the earth. Not only that, he's coming to renovate the 
Here you read Isaiah 66, verse 22. Then Revelation 21, verse 1. I said the, one of the purpose of his coming to renovate the earth. In Revelation 21 verse 1 And I saw a new heaven and a new earth For the, new, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away And there was no more sea Then Revelation 21 verse 2 Revelation 21 verse 2 Revelation 21 verse 2 and that is the rapture. Rapture must take place. And what is rapture? That's the catching up of the, of the saints to be with him forever. So that, that rapture must take place before the second coming eventually. Why am I? Some people, they confuse Rapture with second coming. And these two events, the rapture which is going to be the first and the second coming of our Lord, between rapture and second coming, we have seven years in between. So maybe you need to know. When rapture takes place, as we normally say when we are preaching, that rapture can take place any moment. So when rapture takes place and the saints, they are being lifted up to meet the Lord in the air. After that, there will be resurrection of the dead. That is, the saints that have died. That one will take place as well. So now, just like I said, between rapture, second coming, seven years. So what And in the rapture, Jesus Christ will not come to the head. It will be in the air where the saints that will be raptured will go and meet him. And it will now take, because I will be one of them, it will take us, it will take us to heaven. Then there will be great tribulation here on earth. Serious one. Real tribulation. But you and I, we will be with him, enjoying ourselves with him. If you look at Revelation 19, Revelation 19, read verse 8, only as if he found where you were, I saw or go. We were too fun fun go. Need to repay, I saw go. We were near me. No, that was 18. Okay, Revelation 19, verse 18. And Ki, 19. Okay. Kia, you kill a jet, Aaron, around one. Can you kill a jet around one bar? I see Aaron. Ara won lori ogun ati eran ara won eniyan alagbara ati eran awon esin ati ati ti awon ti o joko lori won ati eran ara eniyan gbogbo ati ti o ti omi nira ati ti eru ati ti ewe ati ti agba mo si ri eran ko na ani 
awon ba aye ati awon ogun won ti a gbajo lasi lasi ba lasi ba eni ti o joko lori esin na ati ogun re jagun but during this time you will be with him why there will be tribulation here on earth now you will not just be with him in the air what will you be doing within these seven years that is the time you will have the supper uh, uh, the marriage supper of the lamb not only that, there will be judgment of the saints for reward. That there, that is, there will be reward uh, for the for the saints. If you look at Second Corinthians chapter five. Verse 10. Second Corinthians. Verse 10. 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 Verse so this time around, by the time by the time is judging the saints, that is what will happen. That is, we will re receive our reward. If you read First uh, Corinthians chapter three, read verses twelve to fifteen, you will see the same thing there. We may not read that one. Alimaka, we Verse three. I mean chapter three. Verses 12 to 15. Now, by the time Christ will be coming back, he will not come alone. You and I, the saints that have been raptured, that has been with him in the air, he will now come. He will come with those saints back, 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 to, back to the earth. Just like I said earlier, rapture can take place anywhere, anytime. But second coming of the Lord cannot take place without the rapture, without the resurrection of the dead, and without great tribulation. So you can see the difference between the rapture and the second coming now. I told you that rapture will take place, res resurrection of the dead, that is, the saints that have died, they will all go with, uh, with the saints that are living, just as we read in the uh, in a, a, a second Thessalonian or first Thessalonian. So, after we might have gone, the saints, the saints, I mean, the, the sinners that died, they too will come out from the grave to join the sinners that are still living, then tribulation will follow. So now, what will be the purpose of his coming, just like I said earlier? He will be coming with the saints to reign for 1,000 years. And this is what we refer to as the millennial reign of Christ. During this, during this his reigns on earth, there will be unprecedented peace prosperity and blessings 
ni akoko ti o ba ma fi wa ninu aye ni egberun odun kan yi alaafia yi o wa iserere yi o si wa nibe because jesus he has power over satan over every creature by the time he will be reigning for 1,000 years, when there will be peace, when there will be prosperity, when there will be blessings, you should ask, where will the Satan be? Does it mean there will be no Satan that we want to shortcut, that want to corner, that want to do this? Do that. Against Christ himself and the saints that will be with him reigning. As Jesus will be reigning that time. Satan will be banned for that period of 1,000 years. Revelation 20. Revelation chapter 20. Read verse 2 and 3. 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 Read ki o ma ba ton awon orilede je mo titi egberun odun na yo fi pe leyin eyi a ko le sa etu sile fun igbadie so you can see it will be banned for that 1000 years a o de fun egberun yi odun not only that it will be cast into the bottomless bottomless pit a o so si ogun na it will be shut up there wo ti mo be still will be upon upon him there so that he will not be able to deceive the nation anymore for this 1000 years he will be there and that is why on the earth that time there will be peace there will be joy there will be prosperity there will be blessings so if you will be one of the saints that will be reigning with him definitely you will enjoy all these things that time he said it will be loose for a short period it will be loose for a short period. And as soon as it's been loose, what will happen? It will, start waging, it will start waging war against Christ again. But remember, it was even when Jesus was born, he was defeated. Satan stirred up Herod. When those wise men came, Okay, you wise men, when you locate him, please come back so that I too will go and worship. We are asked, he wanted to kill Jesus. So this time around, after 1,000 years, he will be set loose. And you know his character. He will start waging war again. With Jesus and his, uh, 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 and his saints. And that is what will be referred to as the battle of Armageddon. Maybe you have been hearing about it. The battle of the Armageddon. But even then. Who can fight with Christ and win? Nobody. Satan tried it. He failed. And as a true child of God, when Satan will be waging war against you, if you are in him, if he's in you, he will come, he will fight. Will he win the battle? No. Revelation 17. We read verses 13 and 14. 
awon won yi ni inu kan won si nfi agbara ti ola awon fun eranko na won wi pe won wi awon won yi ni yo si ma ba odo agutan jagun odo agutan na yo si segun won nitori ohun ni oluwa awon oluwa ati oba awon ba awon ti o si wa pelu re ti a pe ti a pe ti a yan si won si je oloto yo si segun pelu that is it so if you are with him ti o ba wa pelu re if you are in him ti o wa ninu re if he is living in you to si gbe ninu re you are in him ti o si wa ninu re he will never defeat you ko le bori re since christ cannot be defeated tu ma si pe a o le bori christ si christ is in you christ si wa ninu re you won si wa ninu re then where will that defeat come from ibo wa ni bori ti fe sele we will continue to have victory in jesus name eh me a o tesi waju lati ma ni isegun ni oruko jesus then what should be the attitude of the whole world and the church kini o wa ye ko je iha ti gbogbo aye yo ye ko ko si ati ijo we are then being called to be prepared for this great event by repenting of our sins and come to Christ before it is too late awon pe wa pe lati mura sile fun isele nlaye ta ni lo lati ronu pe wa da kuro ninu ese wa ki o to di pe a pe julo yes we have been called an pe wa the second coming from the little we are able to say now you will agree you should be convinced now that definitely jesus christ will come back pe ba ti e ta ti so yin o ye ko fun ani idani loju pe christian pada bo wa then should we be living a careless life so wa ye ka ma gbe igbe aye ijafara be look one life igbe aye ilowo wo tragic life discouraged life igbe aye ai ni ru soke no rara if you are if you are If you are aware and if you believe that rapture can take place any moment then you should you should guard your loins you shouldn't be careless with your spiritual life you shouldn't be frivolous with your dealings to ba gba gba wi pe igba soke le sele ni igba ki igba eye tumo si pe oni lati wa ni mura sile o gbodo jafara o si gbodo gbegaye ko kan mi the whole world must be ready for christ second coming gbogbo aye gbodo se tan fun ipada bo christ the church as a bride ijo gege bi aya is being called to be ready a pe lati se tan to be holy lati je mimo to be spotless lati je fufun to be watchful lati ma sona prayerful kun fun adura and especially our watch word this year in cs is what ma pa ju la ko mo no wa fun ijo ti apostle ti christ lodun yin kini and he said unto you he said unto me wo we fun iwa ti emi go yin to all the world keke a lo si gbogbo aye and preach the gospel to every creature ke a si wa sun yin rere fun gbogbo eda when you are being watchful spotless prayerful you must be busy preaching is what until he comes ni won gba ti o ba ti sona ti o si mura sile ti o ku fun adura o gbodo ma je oju sere lati ma wa su oro re titi yo fi de Ephesians chapter 5 iwe fesu ori karun Ephesians chapter 5 Ephesu ori karun we read verse 25 to 27 lati ese karun le ni ogun si ese keji ese keji keta di ni ogbon eyin oko e feran awon aya yin gege bi christ si ti feran ijo ti o si fi ara re fun ki ohun ki o le so di mimo leyin ti a ti fi oro oro we mo ninu agbada omi ki ohun ki o le mu wa so do ara re bi ijo ti o ni ogo ni ai ni aba won tabi alebu kan tabi iru nkan ba won ni sugbon ki o le je mimo ati alai ni abuku you remember you are part and parcel of the church The magnificent building is not the church. Church is the congregation of believers. And that is why it's now telling you. Husbands, if you look at the husbands, it means we have many men, many married men. 
Be ba wo so pe eyin oko yen ni pe a ni opolopo okunrin to ti pe ya we have wives as in as in ni awon aya pupo because some people they say can't you see he say wives ba ri ni be so pe awon aya means i can marry more than one wife you see, people they are twisting Bible to suit the evils they want to do. Since we have many husbands, many that we must we must have wives. It's now saying as Christ loved the church. That is how we should love our wives. If you don't do so, it means you are not preparing for the second coming of the Lord. If you are beating your wife at all, if your wife is beating, if you are beating your husband at all, if you don't love your children at all, if there is no peace at home, it means such a home is not preparing for the second coming of the Lord. And it means when rapture will take place, such family will remain here on earth waiting for the great tribulation. Or some people will say, ah, this erroneous doctrine of the Jehovah Witnesses, they will tell you, oh boy, what are, why are you burdening yourself? Why are you trying to be holy? Why are you trying to be like this? To be? Why can't you dress gorgeously? Why can't you drink as we are drinking? Why can't you do this? Why can't you do that? Look, God has known the number of people that will make heaven. Is that not what they preach? They will tell you is how many? One forty-four thousand. See how they are twisting the Bible. This one forty-four thousand is referring to the Jews to the Israelites. How do we arrive, do we arrive at 144,000? And these, these 144,000, they are the tribulation saints. We have two, 12 tribes in Israel. From each tribe, there will be, there will be 12,000, 12,000, 12,000. 12,000, 12,000, 12 times 12. So 12 times 12 is what? But they will tell you those are the people that is going to heaven. No. What about the Gentiles? What about the rest of the, of the world? That one is for the Jews is for the Israelites. And if you are waiting, if, you, if they, they, they were able to deceive you by telling you that, don't mind them, what they are telling you, Jesus Christ is coming, and there will be the tribulation, there will be this, there will be that. Uh, they are deceiving you. That is why when they come to your house, with their pamphlets, what must you do? You send them away. You close, you close your door against them. Don't let them corrupt your mind. Don't let them pollute your mind. And it shall be well with us. That's why I said, when you don't study the word of God, which will be your backbone, when those people will come to you, you will fall for them. Before we pray tonight, let's quickly look at the second Timothy chapter 4. Second Timothy chapter 4. Read from verse 1. Now, 
wa so oro na se alaisin se aisin aisin mi ni akoko ti o wo ati akoko ti ko wo ba ni wi se itoni ba ni ni iyanju pelu ipamora ati eko gbogbo nitori pe igba yo da igba yo de ti won ko ti won ki yo le gba eko ti o ye koro sugbon bi won sugbon bi won ti je eni ti etin rin won o ko won o lo ko lukojo fun ara won ninu ifekufe ara won 4 and 5 verses 4 and 5 won o si yi eti won pada kuro ninu otiso won o si yi pada si itan asan sugbon ma sugbon ma se pe ma se ma ma se pele ninu ohun gbogbo ma farada ma farada ikonju se ise evangelist se ise iranse re la se pe is that is i charge thee therefore before god and the lord jesus is a command to us o je ase fun wa that we should be up and doing in the work of jesus and what is that work to preach the word. That's why, I said, that's why I said the watch word for this year is, is relevant, is good, and it shows that the church is getting, uh, 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 is getting, uh, is waking up to our responsibilities. It's preach the word. The instant in season, out of season, reproof, rebuke, exhort, with all long suffering and doctrine. For time will come, and this is the time. When they will not endure sound doctrine. But after their own lust, shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears? So, we are being warned. Will you do it? Will you preach the word? Will you be holy? Will you be righteous? Will you repent of your sins? Will you pray? Will you be watchful? If you can abide by all this, it means we are expecting the second coming of the Lord. And whenever he comes, he will find us ready. I say we find us ready. Who will we not be ready? Raise up your hand. Uh, we are all ready. We will be ready in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's rise up to pray. Commit yourself into the hand of the Lord now. Just look at your life. Look at the situation of things with your spiritual life. If, Christ, if rapture should take place now, will you make it? Tell the Lord. Lord, I've seen the conditions of my heart. The condition to make the rapture. Help me. Help me. Give me the grace. Even what you have taught me tonight. When I will go back home in my closet, teach me further. Pray to the Lord. Pray unto Him. Pray. We are, not, we are not meditating, we are praying. Let's pray, let's tell the Lord to help us that the Spirit of the Living God will teach us the more. 
The grace to be the dress and not the hair as only the Lord will give unto us. Open wide your mouth tonight and pray. pray. Let's pray very well. Let's pray very well. Aggressive prayers. It is very important we know all these things. For the Bible says, we shall know the truth. And the truth shall set us free. It's talking about the truth of the word of God. That is the purpose of God for your life. You, you should know where you are coming from. And you should know where you are going. We are in this world to prepare ourselves for, the, for eternity. Immediately you are born, you are started to prepare yourself for eternity. Because if you happen to die, you are going to eternity of Thomas. If you are not, if you don't know the Lord, if you are not saved, you are not truly converted, you are not, you don't live a life that you expected from you. That is, uh, to live a holy life, to live a righteous life, life of purity, and the life a, a purposeful life. All these truths they have, it's a necessity for us. And we are fortunate. Oh, uh, as uh, to learn at his feet. We are learning at the feet of Jesus. The message is not from man at all. But it's divine. It's a divine message. And if you know this, we need to seize the opportunity. Say, Lord, in your mercy, all, all these messages. I don't want to hear it in vain. I don't want to be condemned by your word. This word, all that I'll be hearing, should set, I want it to set him free and, and prepare me for eternity. Let's pray very well. 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 Rakurkata. Hey, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We'll send round up now. Ah, nepe But we have made up our mind that we take time to pray briefly uh, after each uh, study. This truth. I want us to understand it. Number one. Um, I didn't. I did not even discuss with the authority of this church before. I just make up my mind. Well, that this month we must uh, begin this uh, Bible study. Me o tile ba amo ala she ni no enjoy ibe o ba won soro pe bo ya lati pe pe nkan bayi ni afe se ni no osu osu bo kan pe ni oko mi pe ni no osu yi o agbodo bere ko le eko bibeli so i have to apologize for the uh, uh, to them that i did not uh, even uh, have to come together to discuss this in advance. So I just decided that this month, this, I mean this year, we must 
pull the horn, I mean the bull by the horn. That is to begin to do something. Because there is, there is, uh, sometimes you have to um, um, <clears throat> you have to be aggressive or you have to uh, self-determine to do something. You need to take step to, uh, first step. Because I said it. Otherwise, you not move forward. And I trust the authority of this assembly. When I make them to understand that Lord, the Spirit of God moved me to do some things, uh, by the grace of God, they have never have any cause to resort to uh, argument or, or unnecessary uh, delay. They have always been very cooperative and supportive. And I bless the Lord for this. And as a matter of fact, we don't even prepare the areas that we need to uh, begin to, uh, to start from. But as I was in the toilet, after, after the announcement, I was in the toilet, and the Spirit of God said, you should begin with the second coming of Christ. I had it. And I had to discuss with my uh, guy here, uh, Pastor Adigun. I said, this is what God told me. And that is how he started to prepare the message. And I, and I, and I believe we enjoyed the message, isn't it? Because there are so many issues that you can discuss on a Bible study. So many things from, from Revelation, I mean, from Genesis to Revelation. I mean, so many issues. So many, so many, so many. Oh. But it's good to be led by the Spirit of God. And when the Spirit leads you, what happens? You will be richly blessed. Ọ̀pọ̀lọ̀pọ̀ <laughs> I'm your self sir. Pray the Lord. Hallelujah. And I believe you are blessed. When the Spirit of God leads you to do some things, um, you will receive an auction to carry it out. That is, that is, that is the secret. But if you are not led, you know, I mean, there will be, there will be, you, you, I mean, there will be uh, no anointing to carry it to, to carry it uh, on, that is, uh, you will miss the auction. And when you miss the auction, nothing, there will be no fruit. Sir, ma, Everybody listen very well. I want you to know this secret. Uh, let me express it myself in uh, vernacular and my uh, guy will interpret it. You know, he's a grammarian. Read hello. Uh, I want to tell us this secret. Whether you know it or not. Whether you accept it or not. If the Lord sees your heart, that every day that you are preparing yourself for a second coming, you are preparing yourself for uh, eternity. That is, uh, you have the awareness that the Lord Jesus can come anytime, any moment. There are some, some people, not even, I'm trying to say, not even all ministers of God can do that. One believe who well. Hallelujah. 
the big boy any time, either in the day or the night. Tori pe igba kigba lo le de, and mo de fekari mo pe mo de baso pe big boy Jesus lekeji. Many a times, only my Jerab show gone past. See, your own rap show may be um, before tomorrow morning. But though we don't pray for it, but it could happen. I bet, huh? Oh. Hey, tear down. I bet you, I bet you, Baba. Pray the Lord. Yes, man. <laughs> God, God wants us to be prepared, to prepare in our mind and to be ready for his second coming, that we have the awareness that Christ is coming back the second time, that there is eternity, and he wants us to be, to be ready to reign with him. Because many will be thinking that because their understanding is not open, that maybe they are in one room, that is what they will be carrying about. That is a physical thing, that is what they will be laying emphasis on. Pray the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> What brought problem into the church today? I will tell us one secret. Our forefathers. Every day they are ready. To the same time. <laughs> ah, never by Jesu lo. Oni oje ko polo po CAC jo. Mi o mi o konde mi o ko to bi ngba yen. To ba so pe e wa gba le. Sugba awon to ye pe wa worldly conch. Amo to wa kinan poruko e. To wa kinan poruko e. To pe to wa very worldly. Eh eh. To pe won le ra le jo lati bi de kini kan. At the end of the day, ijoba lo gba gbogbo e lowo won. To ri pe won wa ni mo sile. Sugba iditi ijo e fi duo di bo se wa ni. Ti emi Olorun si ijoba be. Sugba awon ton fi ara won fun aye ki lo sele leni looto won le so pe lowo won ni le won se gbe sugbon the spirit of god is is so long there because our forefathers they are so conscious of heaven that they are preparing to meet with the lord at any time rapture can take place even though they were being asked that there is a little land there come and establish a church there they will tell you if you borrow money now and now establish church there and christ comes suddenly and we are here to pay the debts how are we going to make heaven they are so conscious of heaven that 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 is why this mission is standing up to this moment they are not like the people of the world that have joined themselves with the world that they can establish any house that but they have lost the focus baba redeem nigba to won so fun pe baba e gbowo e ti sise e lo ra ile ke se gbogbo e je mo baba redeem o ra e mo nkan to lo se nigba ta yo lenu baba ki lo de time te wa oni okay o lo won ti ra le inu won wa du e mo lo oni e ma bo e ma bo e ma bo e je mo wi pe better grand lo mu won lo won ni ki la fe lo se wa oni bi to won ra lele ah Wani baba ki lo sele pray the lord hallelujah gbogbo nkan to nse le redeem leni i can say it anywhere to the sacrifice here ni the father of kini o fe gbogbo jik fun olorun pata pata and today the the church uh, uh, progress ni ba be mo fe ki gbogbo wa na pata pata ka wa ni imura sile pe jesus le de any time to ba ti wa ni imura sile i can assure you bo te so pe wo oro yawo ko si kan to jo be mi o foko mi o ni mi o bimo olorun fun ai lo ma so pe wo iyawo to da mo ti pe se fun iyawo e lele o oko to da o ni fun e fe o ti o lo lowo emi a pe se wo fe ki se yen kan bo te so pe o bimo ani omo ki mo se fe fun eniyan nigba to ba lo si mi awon omo e ni o gbe yen oya bimo pray the lord hallelujah i don't know whether you agree with me mo boye wa ni pray the lord hallelujah and therefore to reno <laughs> and therefore, what? Ah, ah. Don't say the Lord. Buy in Uluwawi. My children. And your mommy. Prepare for my second coming. And Murasile, fit for that for me. When you are, when you prepare yourself. Ni ba ti ba Murasile. I will surprise you in all areas. Emi yo ya inle no ni gbogbo. I will bless you. Emi yo bu kufu ye. Who I will bless you. Emi yo bu kufu ye. I will bless you. Emi yo bu kufu ye. Set of fools. No lo wa wa mo gun wi. Peace be unto you. Allah fear for you. Do get the message. No no show you wa. Lord. Oluwa. I am ready for your second coming. 
Mo se ton fe pada bo re. Ai my family. Emi ati idile mi. We don't want to miss the rapture. Ah o fe pada ni igba soke. Awon mo wa awon mo wa kekeke. Our children. Olorun tin si won loju. The Lord is opening their eyes. Won ri ran ijinle. They are seeing mysteries. Ta ba ti de se bayi. The moment they come sin. What they what they so pe nkan bayi bayi lo ni 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 iye at Olorun fe fi je won ta won ba ta won ba kuro nbe. I'm talking about little children that God will open their eyes the moment they do contrary, they will open their eyes to see, and they will say, This is what the punishment that the Lord said they will receive if they did not desist from it. prayer I will give another person prayer point. Three months he will be saying, I did not see anything, it's something that saddens the heart. Lord, help me to prepare myself to prepare my heart for your second coming. If you pray that prayer wholeheartedly, you will see what will begin to happen in your life. You will see that you will begin to see revelations more than ever before. The secrets of the enemy of the devil will not be covered in your life. Pray in the name of Jesus. You have not prayed the prayer very well. Maybe I have not mentioned money or houses. Those things are little things. Those things are little things. Pray aggressively. Aggressive prayers. Aggressive prayers. I believe the mercy of God. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself for all these things. Prepare for a second coming. But He will come in the day or in the night. Only one year, so to be new. He will come any time. Only one year, but keep back. He could come before dawn. Only one kid, like Kosomo. Aha! Prepare. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. Pray in the name of Jesus. 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 Don't allow the spirit of materialism to overwhelm to overwhelm you. Don't allow the spirit of covetousness to overwhelm you. Spirit of covetousness to overwhelm you. It is dangerous. Only who? Rakuri kasiri kusoko busida ba. Ore kasiri kusoko busida ba. Ore kasiri kusoko. Because we are the perilous days. We are material. The spirit of materialism will take over. We are the spirit of conventionalness will take over. Don't allow this thing to overwhelm you. Prepare yourself for a second coming. It could come anytime from now. It could come right in this moment. Thank you, Jesus. 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 You have not prayed very well. If you are praying that prayer, talking, talking, wholeheartedly. I want to share it with you. Let me talk to you. I bless you. I bless you. I want. The secrets of where we are lacking, God will begin to expose it to us. But we will talk to you. Where we are lacking that we need to amend, the Lord begins to reveal unto us. All the spirits of hindrances in your life, the Lord begins to expose and them. Your and your way will be open to you. The secrets of the devil, of the enemies, of the sin will not be covered in your life, in your family, and in your ways. A miracle will follow. And revival will, bring, will spring forth in our church. And revival will spring forth in your family. And revival will spring forth in your life. Aha! Revival fire be kid in our midst and our life and our family right now. And that is why you need to hear what you need to hear. What you need to hear. Revival fire. In 
Serica to Kubisi. Rakorica, Forica, Serica to Kubi. Oh, Forica, Serica. Rakorica, Terica to Kubi. Oh, Forica, Serica to Kubisi. Forica, Terica to Kubisi. Ah, ah. Moriba Balorite, Moriba Balorite. Moriba Balorite. Mori Baba Lorite. I saw the father on the throne. Mori Baba Lorite. I saw the father on the throne. Mori Baba Lorite. I saw the father on the throne. Mori Baba Lorite. I saw the father on the throne. Mori Baba Lorite. I saw the father on the throne. Mori Baba Lorite. I saw the father on the throne. Yes. Orika Tarika tu. Orika Porika Tarika tu. Orika Porika Tarika tu. Oba Orika Taba. Rau kore katare kato kubanse. Kore kapore kasiri kato ba kore kasira. Kore kapore kasiri kuso kubanse daba. Ah ah. Ah ah. Mori kwe o kong kakansile o kwa mo kakansile. So he was writing some things. Mori kwe o kwa mo kakansile. I saw that he's writing some things. Mori kwe o kwa mo kakansile. I saw he's writing some things. Mori lori te o wan kwa mo kakansile o kwa mo. I saw him on the throne and he's writing some things. Ah ah. Nisi mori kodi de duro. Now I saw that he's standing up. O si ngu a wale a mo kakansile. And he's waving hands on people. Oh yes. Today is a great day. 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 Revival of the word of God. Revival of the word of God. Revival of the word of God. <laughs> yes, yes. Revival of miracles. Revival of miracles. Revival of miracles. Aha. 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 Oh, yes. Yes. I could see a lot of miracles happening now. Miracles, miracles. Miracles, miracles. Aha. Benny. Aha. Benny. Yes, yes, yes. Benny. Yes, yes, yes. Benny. Yes, yes. Benny. Yes, yes, yes. Benny. Yes. Benny. Yes, yes. Benny. Yes. Benny. Yes. Benny. Ha 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 ha. Miracles. Iyano. Miracles. Iyano. Miracles. Iyano. Miracles. Iyano. If the Lord has touched your life in one area or the other, just rush to the front. If the Lord has touched your life in one area or the other, just rush to the front. If the Lord has touched your life in one area or the other, just Yes. Benny. No manipulation. No manipulation. Kusia ida ida. Aha. Benny. Yes. Yes. Benny. Yes. Yes. Benny. Benny. Yes. Benny. Yes. Benny. Aha. Benny. Such people should raise up their hand. You know when you beg, you want no one was okay. Their right hand. Or what? Because the Lord will sanctify that hand right now. The Lord will purify that hand right now. The Lord will purify that hand right now. The Lord will for one no more. The Lord will sanctify that hand now. The Lord will for one no more. Oh, the Lord will anoint that hand as well. The Lord will anoint that hand right now. The Lord will anoint that hand right now. Oh, the Lord has anointed the hands. He has anointed the hands. Now place it on your head. 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 Place
Put the hand on your head. Put the hand on your head. Yes. Ben, oh, yes. Ben, special work of miracle. 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 Because there is power in this world. 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 Thank you, Jesus. 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 you, you see what will happen right now? You see what will happen right now? Because there is power in this world. You see what will happen right now? Aha. Benny. Aha. Benny. Aha. Whatever you could not ever begin to do right now. Anything you could not ever begin to do right now. Anything at all. Anything at all. The Lord has set us free. Because there is power in His world. There is healing in His world. There is deliverance in His world. There is the, 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 the word of God. Is, is, his word is yea and amen. Oh yes. And there is power in it. His word is yea and amen. Oh yes. Aha. <laughs> Remove your hand. Whatever you could do before we get to right now. So many arrows have so many God, the Lord has cast so many arrows in our life. So many evil arrows. So many evil arrows. <laughs> the Lord has cut them out in our life. Oh yes. And he has delivered us from, from, from the power of darkness. Oh yes. He has turned again our captivity. Oh yes. He has destroyed the work of the devil in our lives. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. He has turned our life around. What is your year? And your life shall not be the same again. I was in the rebuck on that one. He has not turned our life around. What is your year? What is your Benny, that is turn around now. We begin to wither turn around in every phase of your life. He has started a new thing in our life. Because today is a memory, a memorable day in our life. He has started since morning. 
Don't see And is he continue right now? And he will, <laughs> and he will not he will continue with us. Yes, it is what you call over. Oh yes. Benny. Oh yes. Benny. We are about to move forward. Don't on the fall at it as this new year. We are about to make progress. Don't on the fall at it, let's it as you want and and sagilancy and uh, and uh, uh, no achievement have become a thing of the past in our life. Eh, that do not solve your concern. Ni a sheyori oti do wing bag beni no aye wa. Frustration has become it a thing of the past in our life. Eh, 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 poro ru oti do wing fi say no aye wa. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, she. 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 Yawley. <laughs> Arare iye mani o je ko arare le ma gbe nu mi kinde se rere Olorun iya gbe oga le nkan sin odi lati se ko se ni oro wa oro si wa pelu Olorun Olorun si ni oro na nitori pe oro re loni o je imole nla fun wa o sipaye oro re o ton imole oro re o ba wa so ijinle lati inu apata o mo mi jade fun wa fun iwenu mo fun isodo tun fun irapada fun igbega fun isiniye loruko Jesu Oluwa gbo pe wa Lord, who called Jesus, who you are by Yewa, Baba Watts, or Lord, who are to borrow, no, in Jory or Fair, Lati Daba won't be a real Christian, Lati Pada, no, see, ne, Lati Wawa, Jinna, Len, Consi, Ni Noir or no, Lati Shah Sharo, Ni Noir or no, Kior or no, Kole, Ni Bongo, Ni Noir Kongwa, or your friend, no, Lord, who called Jesus, who you are by Yewa. Or Conton Cowdore, or Conton Pongbe Florore, or Conton Shasharo Ninore, or Conton Wawajin and Ninore, or Conton Tulone, Sipati or Rore, Loru Cordes, or Lua Bewawa, and the Concoania Shale, La Bury of Fetu, our name Jebbin, La Bury of Fotu, Money Loru Cordes, our name Jebbin, Shubani Pass or your fair or long out Tessie Waju, Nipatemi, our Bunke, Nipatemi, our Debbie Giga, Nipatemi, our Deli. Logo, I'm about to see the Fuwa, or do me, you know, you know, look at Jesu Connig Bear, or this one, me not Connig Bear, that's it by that, but all my cool one, never talk about what I need, your major for second Bible study, no look at Jesu Nick, my shack, but I need not alone, I'll near in now, in my genetic party on our thing, Hawa, I do quite beauty, but Jesu, oh, you are.